Well, the prophet Jeremiah in his lamentation says, Let us search and try our ways and turn again unto the Lord. This is Pastor Hayton and the Lord Light's devotional. As I was reading that today, I thought what a wonderful exhortation that would be for our beloved nation, America. I'm old enough that I know a different America than the one that we are living in today. We know that history itself, even though there are those that are trying to rewrite history, we know that America was founded upon uh, Judeo-Christian values, and, and we know that the Bible played a very prominent part in the early lives of our statesmen and those that founded our country. We know that uh, God was revered and the ways of God were followed. I do believe that uh, certainly as America, from time to time, is referred to as Christian America. There was a time that indeed it was a Christian America. But I'm afraid today that the America that we're living in is far from God. I don't want to be pessimistic. I think we need to be uplifting and we need to be inspirational. But yet there are times that we need to face the stark realities of life. And the stark reality today is that we need to follow the admonition, let us search and try our ways and turn again unto the Lord. So, you know, I've been thinking about that since I read it, and I thought about how there are a lot of individuals that need to do that, to be sure. People that one time sat in the little wooden oak chairs around a Sunday school table, listening to the old Bible stories and, and the miracles of Christ growing up in Sunday school. Those had experienced vacation Bible school each spring and, and learned a lot about God and His ways then. Uh, they're far from all of that today. Oftentimes I pray for people today. God take them back to the God of their childhood because so many have gone so far from God. And I look out today and I see so many of our young people that were brought up in Christian homes, that were brought up in church, that were prayed with and had the Bible uh, read to them. And today they need to search their ways and turn again unto the Lord. And it's not just individuals that we know, but we've got a, 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 a nation today. And I believe that the nation is what it is because individuals are what they are away from God. I believe that the nation is uh, in need of the exhortation that us search and try our ways and turn again unto the Lord because so many of our churches have failed God. Oh, we've got religion, but we don't have a lot of righteousness today. And I've always said down across the years of my ministry that I believe that's one of the greatest things that we're facing in America. It's a religious nation, but not a righteous nation. And we know that when we depart from the truths of God's word, when we figure that there are some parts of the Bible that are no longer relevant to our society, when we look around and think, well, maybe God really didn't mean what he said, and when we think about all of the different moral issues that uh, are, are uh, conf uh, confronting us today, and we've rationalized those, uh, we've tried to justify uh, the differences in our life and in what the Bible uh, tells us that we ought to be living. But I'm here to tell you today that many churches have been uh, in need of turning back to God. And so, you know, if we've got individuals that uh, have drifted away from God, and we've got churches that are no longer staying with the uh, 100% uh, unadulterated Word of God, then we've got a nation that needs to search their way and turn again unto the Lord. I pray God will bring about a revival in our churches today that will make a difference in the lives of individuals the lives of our nation. Heavenly Father, may we heed that exhortation if we've drifted away from God. Let us search and try our ways and turn again unto the Lord. Bless us, keep us down throughout the journey of life. 
In Christ's name, amen. We have a plan to see you tomorrow here on Lord Light's Devotional with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.